coming to you. And we invite you to come into one of our services to bring glory and honor to God's name, to raise up a supernatural army with signs and wonders and miracles. Can you be part of this move? Jesus' name, everybody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are here to raise up an army with signs and wonders and miracles. Why? To prove yeah. that there is a God, the true God, amen. and to bring glory to his name. So he said, bring glory to his name. Bring glory. So he said, glory. glory to his name. Glory. Amen. And to make believers out of all believers. Believers out of Do you know what happens? You can read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And you'll find many times when the prophets of God came to me, they say, by this we know there is a God. Amen. So say amen. 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 You see, to go to church and say, oh, Jesus is real, my life. Give me some proof. Give me some proof. What kind of proof do you have in your This is where I stunt the Muslims, stunt the Buddhists, stunt all these cults. Where is the proof that your God's real? So say amen. Amen. See, if you can't prove he's real, I'm not going to believe he's real. That's why I had to have my head busted on the altar because I did not believe in all this shit. Woo! Put on. But when God busted my head and beat me all around the floor and threw me upside down and paralyzed me and my mama thought I died and I'm laying there paralyzed inside of the body, can't move, and my mama's crying. She said, my Jimmy, my Jimmy's dead. My Jimmy's dead. I said, let her go. Mama, I'm not dead. I'm in here, but I just can't move. And I'm, Come here. And I'm saying, go ahead, God. <laughs> yeah. But how many of you know? God will get your attention. Somebody say, is anybody still with me here? God knows how to get your attention. And if God is going to get this world's attention, but something's going to happen. And come on, talk to me here. Well, why would God do something like that? He said, I'll do nothing except I'll reveal to my prophets first. That's right. Amen. Everything is going to happen. God's going to reveal it. So say amen. Amen. Everything. Everything. Look at somebody and say, my God. My, my God, God is real. real. My God, my God can, do can do anything. I believe, I believe. In, my in my God. My God. My God. What does always say? He's my God. He's my God. Come on, say with authority. Say he's my God. He's my God. Say my God. My God. Say my God. My God. My God. My God. My God. See, you Muslims, you can't say that. You can say he's God. But you can't claim it as your God. You know what you tell me? You Muslims tell me this. When I ask you about prayer, does the answer prayer? You tell me he's not personal. You know why he's not personal? Because he's not real. Somebody say, Amen. but my God is real. Somebody say, Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Hallel Let's show you the word of God. Amen. We want to turn to Revelation chapter uh, 6. And we want to read a couple of verses here. I'm not going to hold you long. But I want you to understand that at the seventh seal, everybody say seventh seal. Seventh seal. I want to do a little bit of preaching teaching here to you. According to Matthew 24, where Jesus is speaking, and Revelations, and many other parts of the scripture, we know there's seven seals that Jesus opens up. Okay. And at the sixth seal, at the opening of the seventh seal, is where we find out there's going to be the great tribulation period. How many of you know the first three and a half years, everybody say the first three and a half years, first three and a half years. is called the tribulation period. That's bad stuff, bad news, and we're going to be here. There's going to be a lot of so-called Christians not make it, die, all this stuff. But the last three and a half years is called the great tribulation period. And this is where People are going to have to take 666 either on their right hand or on their head. And let me tell you something, people. I also believe in my heart and soul there will be more so-called Christians take 666 on their right hand or on their forehead than Muslims. Yeah. Why? Because, you see, Muslims, most of them, is serious about what they're doing. Exactly. 
including Buddhists and other people. Cults. They believe a lie. But when they start to find out the truth about Jesus Christ, they're going to go all the way to, for Jesus. Yes, amen. Most Christians, you can't get them to do nothing. That's right. Amen. Remember what God spoke to me in the first week of July? He said, tell the people these words. If you want me to use you greatly, two things must be. First, you must be strong uh -huh. yes. and faithful. faithful. How many so-called Christians do you know are strong in God? How many of them can stand up in the face of the devil? Come on. How many have never cast out devils? How many have done signs? Wonders? How many? No, they run. They're not strong. They can't do great exploits. And the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Called means a lot of people are called to God. Some can save, some won't. But chosen people are not normal. Is there any people here that are not normal? <laughs> I know, I see a lot of you. Don't, don't you sit there and laugh. You're not normal. You ain't for nobody. You've never been normal in your life. You, you, you don't have a normal bone or nothing in you normal. You, you could act normal if you had to act normal. Your husband can't be normal because he married you. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. amen. <coughs> but when he says, <coughs> many are called but few are chosen. Chosen means they're not normal. They did great exploits for God. David had chosen men, mighty men of valor. They did great exploits. Guess what? There's three of them the Bible name. I can't remember the one's name. But guess what two of the names are? One of them is called Skinny. Skinny. Skinny doing great exploits. And the other is called Delicate. Now, I hate to say it, but I picture him almost like a little... <laughs> And I don't have good for sissified men. You be a man or you ain't getting around me. I remember we went to China back in the early 80s. And this guy, we went undercover, smuggled, smuggled bottles into Chinese people. And they put me in a room with this hairdresser from New York City. He's Italian. How many of you ever seen Zorro? Remember Zorro on television? Yeah, have you yeah. seen him? Real tall, black hair, long sideburns. Mm -hmm. And he wore high heel shoes. I don't mean like a woman, but they're real high, things like this, and real tight, skin tight pants. And I mean, his hair was just eloquent. Mm -hmm. And he had all this luggage and all this kind of stuff. And they put me in the room with him. <laughs> I'm a country boy. Levi, country, I love squirrel heads, I love groundhog, I love... <laughs> and we get up, and Brother Heflin told me, he said, Brother Humphrey, you got to share a room with him. I said, oh, man. I didn't even like the thought of going in the room with somebody like that. Next morning, we get up, and he got up himself, and I learned from traveling nations that all I ever did I took a little camera along, and I took my passport along, and took my wallet along, and that's all I took along. Somebody say amen. 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 Travel light, you can fly. He's got all these suitcases and all these cameras and stuff, and when we get ready to walk out, he says, uh, do you have your purse? I said, say what? Do you have your purse? I said, what do you mean do I have my purse? He said, do you have your purse? I said, no, you mean my wallet. I said, yeah. Now, I carry my wallet just to this day here. <coughs> you have my front pocket. So I say, amen. Amen. He said, no, your purse. I said, women carries purses. <laughs> he said, I'm not a woman, and I carry a purse. And he had this big, long thing, and he stuck it on. And I looked at him, and I said, do you think for one moment that you're going to wear that purse out of this room. He said, yes. I said, you're not wearing that purse out of this room. Somebody say, hallelujah. hallelujah. I said, you will take that purse off. You'll look like a man when we walk. Somebody say, hallelujah. 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 Guess what? Guess what? You're going to love me. I'm your brother. Somebody say, amen. Amen. Somebody say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. John speaking. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal. This is still in the tribulation period, not the great tribulation period. And lo, there was a great earthquake. Great earthquake. How many of you know there's earthquakes coming that's going to make all earthquakes look like yes. nothing? Yes. Yes. Say amen. 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 There was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth as hair, and the moon became as blood. Why? What's, what's going on here? That earthquake is going to be so deep that the black smoke literally from the pits of hell is going to come up out and darken Amen. the sun, Amen. darken the moon. Amen. Guess what? You and I will be here. There's going to be a whole lot of people that says they're Christians. It's going to be so scared that they'll have heart attacks. Bob says it. Yes. That's right. They'll commit suicide. Mm -hmm. They'll flee to the mountains and holes and stuff and seek death and they can't find death. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood. How many of you have been hearing about the four blood moons? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you what. We, can I just stop right here and tell you the only re two reasons why I became a Christian? Well, I'm not a Christian. I'll tell you what. I'm a believer. A Christian means like Christ, like Christ. I'm not like Jesus yet, but I'm trying. I'm just a believer. But what convinced me that this was true? See, I studied all the other religions. I studied all of them. But none of them could prove that their God or their religion was real. No. But when it came to Christianity, and I started to read over these 3,000 prophecies that were supposed to come to pass, and they came to pass. I remember taking my right hand and grabbing my left arm and saying, Hillbilly, you might be a hillbilly, but you're not retarded and stupid. You better get serious. So I started to get serious about this because you know what the Bible did? It proved what it said would happen. Somebody say amen. 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 Dr. Donald and nobody else in the world could ever have anything even come close to it. The Bible did not come close to it. It came exact. Word amen. For word. Amen. Name the people, the places, everything about it. Then what topped it all off is this. You got to remember when I went into church. I went into church because I promised this so-called God I was in prison, thus and thus and so that if you put my marriage back together, I'd go to a good church every Sunday of my life. But guess what? There's only one that I knew was really serious, and that was these crazy Pentecostals who used to set those tents up. I knew there was something nutty about them, but I just knew they had to be real. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes. Hallelujah. So when I went to that door of the church, and the pastor went to shake my hand, I beat my finger on his nose. I said, I promise so called God, I'll be here, buddy, you back off. He called me brother, I told him I'm not your brother and this and that, and I won't go into the rest of the story. But my wife had all kinds of sicknesses. And one day, him and another evangelist said, God just spoke and said, I'm going to heal you. I thought, oh, well, here we go again. Mm -hmm. This fakey stuff. Mm -hmm. and my wife stepped out in the aisle, and the power of God hit her and knocked her down. She yet this day she says, I flirted. She didn't float. She looked like somebody hit her with a board and killed her. And she went down, turned white as a sheet, and threw her, propped herself up with the left hand, threw her right hand in the air, and started to speak in another language that I never oh, heard of. Jesus. She turned from being the meanest woman I ever knew to loving Jesus, and all she did was preach to me. Amen. You think I could believe that? That bothered me so bad? And after a whole year of watching her, I finally said these words. God, I don't understand all this stuff, but I want what she's got. How many of you know you better see some proof? Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Some of you wonder why your husband or children or relatives don't want nothing to do with the Lord. They don't see nothing in you. Woo, right. God, Amen. That was free. Anybody gave an offer here? You want to back up and get it? Take some extra? Somebody say hallelujah. And the stars of heaven fell to the earth. And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth. Stars. 
When God shakes the heavens, the whole soul system is going to fall. So say amen. amen. The stars of heaven are going to fall. But how many of you know, I love Isaiah, Psalms 91, no evil or plague shall come nigh you or your dwelling. Amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place, yes. the Lord, shall buy under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He's my refuge, right. my fortune, my God, and Him will I trust. Yes. Surely He shall never leave from the snare of the power of the nose of vessels. Come on. He shall cover thee with your feathers, yes. feather, and under His wings we shall trust. Hallelujah. His truth shall be our children and buffers. So they say, Hallelujah. They size with your forearm, sign ten times on the right, but it shall not come nigh us. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go on. Come on, say hallelujah. We should not be afraid. Come on. For the terrible night of the hour flies with day. For the pencil of walks with God to instruct you in a new name. How so I say hallelujah. He says, for with our eyes we shall see and behold the reward of the wicked. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh my God, somebody say amen. 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 He said he shall give the angels charge over you. Yeah, yes. Yes. How many want angels charge over you? Yes. Yes. And they shall bear you up in your ha their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the young, the adder and the young lion, and the dragon you shall trample on your feet. Somebody say hallelujah! Yes. Why? Because we have known his name. Somebody say hallelujah! Yes. He shall deliver you. Come on, my God, my Thank God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you know the last part of he said, and he shall satisfy you with long life. Yes, right. And show us his salvation. So we say hallelujah. hallelujah. Next psalm says this. We still shall bring fruit in our old age. That's right. That's right. We should be fat and flourishing. You and I are trying to pick up our That's right. right. God, the Bible says the Lord makes fat the righteous. She's skinny folks ain't righteous. <laughs> That's my interpretation. So we say amen. Amen. You know like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God said that. I get to write the book. That's right. Amen. If I can believe John 3 16, why can't I believe that? Is anybody still with me? Yep. Yes. Is anybody still with me? Yes. Is anybody still with me? If you're still with me, get to your feet and say, Hallelujah! something else here. We're going to deviate here a little bit. How many of you know when you get in the spirit, you, you're not hungry? That would yes. be real big. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. As long as you're in the flesh, your mind thinks of the flesh. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. You want things, that, you want water, you want food, so forth like that. Right. But how many of you know Moses fasted and prayed 80 days and 80 nights? Oh Neither ate nor drank. That was a man. Jesus went 40 days, 40 nights. Moses went 80. Why couldn't he go 80? Because he's in the presence of God. And his face shone. Anybody still with me? Amen. People, the flesh of people could not look upon his face. Because of God's glory. Amen. See, when you get in him, you become spiritual. You Amen. walk in the spirit. You fulfill the things of the spirit. Anybody still with me? Yeah. Somebody looking at me yeah. like, duh. What are you talking about? What are you saying, Mama? Why? What, what's that, Mama? <laughs> can you believe? Can you believe you came here tonight to hear this kind of stuff? <laughs> what is the matter with you? How do you girls end up here anyway? Me? You? Mm -hmm. What? How did you end up with all this? Because I had a friend tell me about it. You had a friend that. Your friend can't be normal neither. 
Stop. Shall we say amen? Amen. Stop. I mean, to prove that you're not normal, if your friend came and she knows these servers are not normal, and you heard about it, and you knew it wasn't normal, then you're not normal to come. And so then you must have brought these two here, so you're trying to ruin them too. So we say hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we say hallelujah. Hallelujah. See that brother right there? I didn't see no, I wasn't going to say earrings or necklace. Nowadays, they wear that stuff too. But you don't look like any woman I've ever known with a big beard, beard like that. So we say that. Amen. But the things that he can do through Christ Jesus. You, honey. You girls back there, do you know what you are, what you're like, honey? <coughs> I see the hungriest eyes I think I've ever seen in a long, long time. I'm telling you what the Lord said. You want something real. You want something real, and God's going to show you how real He is. That's all you want. Just Amen. Praise Jesus. Show me something real. Praise Jesus. Do you know one reason you've been turned off on this so-called Christianity? Because you've seen too much junk. Do you know why? Because He's living in the flesh. But people that love Jesus, because all the way Jesus, they might make mistakes, but they'll be quick to say, I'm sorry, I messed up. So say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I'm following my notes pretty good here as close as I can. You all believe back to me, don't you? Verse 13, the stars of heaven fell to the earth. Even as a fig tree cast her on time of things. How many of you know that they said, when she is shaken of a mighty land? See, when God starts to shake the heavens, the solar system is going to cut loose and come to this earth. Brother Humphrey, do you believe this is what God was speaking to you about? He's going to look to the heavens for something's going to happen in the heavens that's going to cause a worldwide revival. No. No. Not there. Before then. Before then. Before then. God told us about the Gulf War. My wife and I were standing in the church praying. Hold hands. My wife, she had a vision. He was all just praying in the church. My wife don't speak a whole lot about things she's seen and stuff, but when she opens her mouth, you better pay attention. If she walks up to you and she wants to give you a word or something, you better pay, pay, pay attention. <clears throat> she said, I just had a vision. I seen two great swords come together and touch. As soon as she said that, the Lord spoke to me and told me the interpretation. He said, tonight, the United States and Iraq will go to war tonight. Wow. That same night we went to war. Then the Lord gave me a vision. I seen, I forget how many hundred GI boots were laying there in the room dead. <clears throat> they had made a statement. It was only like a couple hundred. They had made a statement that when the United States went to war with Iraq, There'll be more bloodshed in that war than all the wars that America's ever been in. From the Civil War to every war there ever was, be more bloodshed. And the Lord spoke to me and said, tell them not so. Hmm. Now how many of you know that's going against what the government and what everybody says? It's going to be so horrible. This is how many. I've seen the boots laying there, hundreds. I forget the number. God gave them the number. I wish I still had the number. Almost all that got killed was from friendly fire. But the Lord said something then. Very strange, Pastor David. But the next war with Iraq will not be as such. Huh? We haven't even went to the first war. And he's talking about the next war with Iraq. Huh? So that must be two wars. He said, then at the at the sign of the first shot in the second war with Iraq, it shall escalate into all nations till the end of the time comes. Did you hear that? Yeah. 
At the second war of Iraq, it will escalate into all nations to the end come. Well, we went to Iraq, went up to Baghdad, and all of a sudden they just called ceasefire. Back door. That was it. Then we go back in. They go back in, tell Saul who stays statue down, and they declared victory. You would not believe how many people came to me and said, Brother Humphrey, you're a false prophet. <coughs> the war is over with Iraq. And you said it would escalate into all nations until the return of Jesus Christ. I said, it's not over yet. That's how many right. can say it's, it's right. not over yet? It's not, it's not, not over yet. yet. not over yet. You see, God, when he says something, he's exact. Oh, yeah. Anybody still with me? Amen. Amen. And I want everybody to remember this. Don't say, well, Brother Humber Perry is a, a prophet's calling. He speaks to him. No, he'll speak to everybody. Yes, he will. He says in his word, my sheep hear my voice. Yes. Amen. Amen. My sheep know my voice. Hallelujah. Amen. I know the voice that will not follow. Yes. Do you know God will talk to every? God told me many years ago, he said, you talk about people. I said, I'm more anxious to talk to them than they are to talk yes, to me. That's yes, right. that's yes. right. Yes, hallelujah. You know, a conversation is not one-sided. Do you know what we do with the Lord? Yeah, 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 my name, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Let's see. We're going to wait for the Lord to speak something. Mm -hmm. You're getting a lot out of this, honey. A lot of questions. Do you know why? Because you're not normal. And the husband you're going to have is not going to be normal at all, neither. And I'm going to tell you a little bit something about him. He's going to be a husky guy. Husky. He's going to have rope. My grandfather said to me one day, Pops, you got big guns. I said, what are you talking about, big guns? I said, he's going to have some big guns. Say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Say it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And his sons of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree cast her on timely fig, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heavens departed as a scroll. When it rolled together, how many of the heavens is this going to depart this roll back? Welcome. This is Sister Joan, Secretary for Upper Room Ministry. You can see the rest of this message each Sunday evening, your local time. If you would like to receive our monthly newsletter and know the things the Lord is speaking to Prophet Humphrey, then please send a love offering to help cover our expenses. Also, if you would like to have an anointed prayer cloth and become a ministry partner, send us your picture so we can pray, lay hands on you and your needs and expect signs, wonders, and miracles in your life. Starting today, you will never be the same. Our website is upperroomministry.net. If you would like to schedule a speaking engagement, contact our ministry. All glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen.